Because women always want to see if they can pull you in an argument, right? They prepare arguments for weeks. They make arguments like spiders make webs, right? And he didn't say I was cute, and he had lunch without me, and he hangs out with Todd, and I hate Todd. And they set up an argument web with a bunch of points that only make sense to them, and a bunch of things you said that you don't remember you said them, but they remember you said them. They remember everything you said ever since the beginning of the relationship. Uh, all right, from humble beginnings in McAllen, Texas, he went on to appear on Last Comic Standing, Gabriel Iglesias' Stand Up Revolution, right, and The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Comedian yeah. Nick Guetta joins us this morning. Thank you for uh, having me. I There's think. a real Todd out there yeah, you know. that was written about. <laughs> well, really, no, you seriously know that guy? Yeah, I was yeah. my roommate. Yeah. Or is it like every guy? No, no, no. There is a Todd, a specific Todd. Yeah. We all know a Todd. Okay. We don't like Todd. <laughs> Green, By the way, banging outfit. Look at those, you shoes. Like those shoes. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you very much. Thank wow. You. Jessica I don't know, a single song that the girl sings, that but I love her shoes. That is dope. Yeah, mine are just gym shoes. Yeah, but hey, if you if you're paying attention earlier, the gym shoes is the cool thing right now in fashion. That's it. Oh, really? Yeah, you're oh, in. I heard that from the Fashion yeah, New York. Yes, I know. you're in, my friend. Yeah, nothing's better than seeing five male models yeah, yeah. <laughs> and being well, like, oh, then I'm on next? Yes, okay. you're in. All right, great. But you're wearing yeah. the right thing. Yes, yeah, so I got my Bellman jacket. The only difference yeah. now is the tennis shoes don't cost, you know, $39.99. Now they're like, you know, a exactly, lot more. Exactly, uh, Did you used to buy tennis shoes like I used to when I was little in the grocery store? They'd be on the table. No, I got these from a back to school sale. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. You know, that's when they attack it. When you're like, okay, let me get seven pairs for 100 to get the $50 discount. And then Boom. throw tax free weekend on top exactly. of it. Exactly. You yes, know how it is. Got a deal. Yeah, okay. yeah, man. You I don't see. have any kids. I'm just, I'm, I'm my kid. You say that you got your um, sense of humor from your mom and what, what? Oh, yes. She's very mean. <laughs> <laughs> She's sarcastic. I, you know, like my mom, uh, when we would cry, she wouldn't like consider soul us or anything she'd mock us <laughs> she would just be like oh everybody lo nobody loves me everybody hates me right and that's how I learned how to talk to people it's been terrible for relationships yeah, right. it's been so you do bad. A, a lot of your comedy is on relationships so you yes. got to laugh to keep from crying yes yes well I want to express how great women are in so many ways like that's my whole thing so yes. you know the more like in the clip yes. it's like this is what we all go through so you know don't think that 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 uh, your girl's crazy no she's just your girl <laughs> she's, she's your normal girl she's there. your normal girl yeah. that's how they are no. <laughs> for every comedian um it's it there's the start the first time you, you got up in front of people saying i'm doing stand-up comedy yeah it was at lubies oh no. yes nice. i was four years old uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. somewhere in between the luan platter exactly the, yeah, the you know special. they can't move yeah. you know the, the clientele at lubies they can't get up and walk away that quick <laughs> so you just tell the jokes real quick at four boom you're in and you, and you got it yeah, and then you start doing it professionally which yes. is pretty cool to get that phone call yes huh? yes the first uh, time I got paid with I performed at a Mexican restaurant uh -huh. uh, I heard applause it was sizzling fajitas <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm killing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. The, the laugh. I love the laugh. Okay, so where did the laugh come from? Is that, like, is that your real deal? or is that? I, that that's my real deal. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and people mention it, and I forget. Like, when you have a goofy laugh, you don't even know that you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, other people mock you. They're like, ah, you're like, what? That's me? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of your stuff is based on relationships, yes. which makes sense because relationships can be kind of quirky, funny things. Well, they're universal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's everything's relationships. Yeah. You know, friendships, uh, whether it's boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, you know, husband, or just friendships, it's all relationship based. Yeah. Yeah. Oftentimes, if you are a Latino or black, people expect you to do humor that fits into the culture. Although you had influences from, you know, folks like George Lopez and uh, Gabriel Iglesias and Pablo Francisco uh, well, yeah, yeah. It, it, you're like you're kind of universal in your humor yeah exactly yeah well because you know I uh, I'm young you know I'm uh, I'm an 80s baby that grew up with sitcoms 80s sitcoms you know Saved by the Bell Full House things like that so my humor comes from that you know my so the other influences were like Lucille Ball Steve Martin things yeah. like that so I encompass all of that in my kind of uh, jokes on stage why is humor and jokes and comedians, why is it so important in our communities, especially today? Especially today? Oh, man. I think it's just because people want an escape, you know? And I think uh, everybody wants a, a good chuckle. It kind of gives you a, when you make someone's face hurt, then they know they've had a good day, you <laughs> had know? a good time. Yeah, when Order they're just like, drink, oh, my right? God, I was crying tears, and it was so great. It's like perfect. Yeah. You release. It's the endorphins. It gets it out of you. All the, the pain comes out of the eyes, and you're like, good. You're also a great story in that so many people are afraid to step off the curb and do what their passion really is. Yeah. And so you took a chance. You got fired from a job. I got fired. Yeah. That's, how, that's how I stepped off the curb. Yeah, you, 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 <laughs> I didn't step right. off the 
the curb. They pushed me <laughs> on. They're like, you're fired. Into, oh, into right. oncoming traffic, right? Yeah, it's like, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, but because you, you took a gig in Houston, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, because I decided one day I got hired to, to do a weekend gig in Houston. My boss didn't want to let me go, fired me, right? Because I took it anyway. Yeah. I came. I just snuck out. You were down to your last, like, 300 bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how it's going to go. And I remember my mentor at the time, he sat me down. He's like, do you want to pursue this? This could take years, yeah. you know, like anywhere from five years to actually break even. And I was like, well, I already put five years in the jobs I hate. Might as well put five years in this one. Yeah. You okay. know, are you the guy where you got to be careful if you're sitting in the front row? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I'm tiny. You. I'm a little guy. Yeah. You, here's the thing. All right. Any guy that's five, five and under, we're like chihuahuas. OK, <laughs> so if you make the wrong eye contact, we snip and we bite and we come after you, you know, we're like, going for the ankle. Yeah, we're not going to hurt you. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're hiding behind people's calves, but we're going to snip and bite and come after you, you know, and then act like we did something. <laughs> Nick, we appreciate you getting up early because we know you do the nightlife.